Hi, I'm Karina, and I'm with Apogee Google Cloud. Welcome to the Edge Virtual Hosts module in the Apogee Troubleshooting series. In this module, we're going to introduce Edge Virtual Hosts, demonstrate how to enable one-way and two-way TLS, and provide some commonly used troubleshooting tips. In this Enable One-Way TLS with Edge Virtual Hosts video, we're going to have a quick recap about one-way TLS configuration discussed in the Introduction to Edge Virtual Host video. We will then cover the requirements, the steps to do the setup and validation. Finally, do a quick demo on how you could enable one-way TLS between the API clients and Edge routers using the Edge UI. In the Introduction to Edge Virtual Host video, we have seen this slide. Just remember that only the key store is needed to configure the Edge Virtual Hosts in the one-way TLS configuration. There are requirements which need to be completed prior to enabling the one-way TLS connections to Edge routers. The requirements are, the TLS configuration can only be performed on a paid org, it can only be configured on port 443. It must be performed by users with the right permissions, for example, org admins. Users must have acquired their own DNS entry and have configured the DNS records pointing to the default Apigee.net DNS entry, which was set up by Apigee when the org was provisioned. Users must have acquired a pair of TLS key and certificate chain from a well-known CA, such as VeriSign, DigiCert, or others, the key and certificate chain must be in either the PEN or the PKCS12 format. There are four steps to enable the one-way TLS configuration once the requirements are met. The steps are, in the right org and environment, create a key store, Upload a key and a certificate chain to the key store by creating a key store alias. Create a key store reference pointing to the key store. Create a virtual host with the customer's DNS name as the host alias with the key store reference. Now validate the virtual host to ensure TLS connections work. On the browser, enter HTTPS domain name you would like to access. The request goes through the DNS server and reaches the virtual host configured on Edge routers. Once the TLS handshake completes successfully, Edge could return a pre-configured response by API developers. For this demo, I have configured an Edge API proxy to show the welcome. Now we're going to do a quick demo on how to enable one-way TLS for demo.appgsc.com and we have configured its DNS entry to point to gsc-demo-prod.fg.net. We also have acquired the TOS certificate chain and key pair from Let's Encrypt in the PEM format, and make sure the certificate chain have the certificates in the right order, the server certificate at the top, and the signing CA at the bottom. Now it is time for the demo. Before we configure the one-way TLS for demo.apogeegsc.com, I would like to show you what happens when we're trying to access before it is configured. When I access it, I'm getting the apogee.net certificate back, which is expected behavior. On the UI, the first step is to create a key store. The next step is to create a key store alias. Note that a good practice is to name the alias with the DNS name. Because I'm going to upload both key and certificate, and my key and certificate are both in PEM format, so I am choosing key and certificate. 
now upload with the right files save now it's created we can take a quick look note that I have a key file and a certificate and I have the common name here which is correct and the CA is let's encrypt the next step is to create a key store reference and in the drop down I'm pointing to the correct key store click on save the last step is to create a virtual host click on virtual hosts click on plus and name secure-demo I'll leave description and base URL alone note that I can only create on port 443 and putting in the DNS name hit enter scroll down to the TLS information section make sure the key store field is populated with the correct reference from the drop-down list and the key store alias is correct because we only have one hit it, create now I'm going back to the same browser tab that we had problem before and I'm going to do a refresh now we're connected note that I have a pre-configured proxy that was already deployed onto secure-demo virtual host for this to work if you need to or prefer to use management APIs to enable TLS virtual hosts please reference docs.apogee.com and the most relevant documents can be found in the links mentioned in this slide the links are also mentioned in the video description section for your easy references if you would like to know more about Edge Virtual Hosts, please watch our other videos in this module. Please do share, like, and comment if you find this video helpful. Thank you.